Hi everybody and thanks for joining me and in this video we're going to talk about a recent update that was just added to Google Slides. Uh, for many of you that like to add YouTube videos to Google Slides you may have run into the situation where you can't just add a video from Google Drive easily. Um, there are several workarounds for that but now it's been made simple. So if you have a Google Drive video, like for instance I have a folder of videos that I upload to my YouTube channel, um, but they're all saved in Google Drive. If I wanted to add one of those videos to my Google Slideshow, all I have to do is go up to the insert menu, click video, and now in addition to the YouTube search or the by URL, where you can paste the YouTube link, you now have a Google Drive option. And so from here, you can search your Google Drive folders and find the right video, select it, and it places the video right there on the slide. So here's my video that I want to add. And the cool thing about this is that I have additional options that I can use. If you right click on the video, in the pop-up menu you have an option for video options and a little side panel will open up like the one you see here and so from here I can choose to start the video let's say I want to start it at a minute and 12 seconds and end it at two minutes so that only a portion of the video is shown then I can do that and I can also choose autoplay options or I can have the, the audio muted so that the video automatically plays but I don't need the audio to play on that slide. So hopefully this makes things a little bit easier for you especially if you're hosting your own videos in your Google Drive account. Uh, this is just a quick and easy way to add videos. Plus if you have videos that you'd like to use on YouTube but if you can't because of filters on your school network uh, there's always the option of downloading the YouTube video and hosting it in your drive and then inserting it in this manner. Well, thanks for joining me today, and if you have any more questions, please let me know or uh, visit my blog at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks for joining me.